so the submissions are in and it is finally here. This is challenge day. By the way, welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Black, and uh, don't be a stranger. Click that button right there because I'm doing challenges like this all the time, and you don't want to miss them. The last big challenge we did on this channel was the Star Time Lapse, and uh, yeah, that was pretty awesome. But this challenge is called the Hyperlapse Challenge. And if you didn't know, a hyperlapse is basically a moving time lapse. So the challenge was to create a hyperlapse showing off where you live. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna show you all of these clips and you guys are gonna be the ones to vote on them. And in a few weeks, we're gonna tally up those votes and we're going to declare a winner. Top three winners, actually. And those top three winners will be getting a nice prize from Telesyn. And shout out to Telesyn, one of my favorite accessory stores. They do awesome stuff. And I'll have some coupon codes down in the description in case you choose to buy from them. You can save some money using that coupon code, Danny Black. And a big shout out to today's sponsor, Motion Array is a website where you can download cool effects for your videos. I'll tell you more about that later on. But for now, let's go ahead and get to our first submission. That's really cool. So Riley's driving in the car, he's got it mounted really solid to make it just look that stable. And the nighttime look is awesome, especially with those lights just flying by. And as you can see on the screen, this is what you'd put in the comments if you wanna vote for this as your favorite. All right, the next one is from Liam and see if you can guess where this one's at. I wish that that would have just slowed down at the end because those trees looked phenomenal. But if you're to take that insanely slow, uh, you'd get those clouds moving really fast. It's really hard to do, but that looked awesome. All right, this is from Chris. Uh, I actually don't know the location. I probably should have asked about that, but I'm sure we'll get a comment of where this is. So uh, let's check this out. Really cool what Chris did. First of all, sideways hyperlapses are very hard to do, and it's really good to be able to slow down and spin around, um, especially around that clock. That was really cool. Those are not easy, so thank you for that. Hey, and if you're like watching this and you're like, wait, I could do a way better hyperlapse than these guys. Well, I mean, I gave you every opportunity to turn something in, but you might have missed that announcement. So make sure you do click the bell if you wanna be alerted for any future announcements, especially the next challenge, because it's a good one. All right, this next one is from uh, Squid Paws. So shout out to Squid Paws. It's kind of a long one, but uh, check this out. I don't need to say too much about this because it's awesome. First of all, the spinning around the buildings is really cool. Those are really hard to do. You walked so much and showed so much. I've never been to Dubai and I feel like I've, I've really got a good sense of Dubai just from this. The only unfortunate thing, and this is probably something that doesn't happen often out there, I'm guessing, but if there was like moving clouds, that would probably look sick as well. I think my favorite part is this part right here by the beach. The camels are on the beach. Like you followed the camels along, that looks so good. Just a great way to end that. This next one here is from Mike. I 
I do like your use of switching between uh, time warp and then real time there. That's cool. And then, you know, walking on ice is not easy to do. So that uh, extra points for that. All right, so this one is from Steve WB. This is in Orlando. Happy place, welcome. Disneyland is your land. Your age relives fond memories of the past. I love the way that he's stopping time and showing little bits of Disney World. An extra credit because I can tell you added some sound effects in there, which is really cool, and some sound bites. So absolutely fantastic way to show off where you live, which is Orlando, and show off Disney World. Like you get a really good sense of the park in a very quick way. So uh a lot of people. There's a lot of people in Disney World. Oh my gosh, there's so many people. Um, and just to top it off, this is how he ends it right here on a separate clip, but uh, check this out. This next one is from Froze Productions. You were the one that won the Star Time Lapse Challenge, which that was epic. So let's have a look at your hyperlapse. says that he's using the suction cup mount for this hyperlapse, put it on his car, and uh, that's pretty cool. So I'm, I'm assuming this is Southern California because I think that's where you live. That looks cool though. Great job, Froze Productions. We interrupt this program to pay the bills. Hey, if you didn't know, I actually have an Instagram and a Facebook, and you can follow me on there. I, I'm kidding, I don't care about that stuff, but look at these cool effects. Do you like this one? Yeah. What if I told you that doing effects like this was as easy as just dragging onto a timeline? Now, if you're a beginner to intermediate video editor, or maybe even a little bit better than that, you should really check out Motion Array. For a monthly or annual subscription, you can browse through and download titles, logos, transitions, backgrounds, overlays, slideshows, intros, LUTs, or effects. And they're adding new effects all the time. But you simply download the effect, you drag it over to a different folder, open up your video editing app, drag it onto your timeline, and then you can adjust it to make it work best for you. So yes, Motion Array. This is something that I personally use a lot on this channel. I'll put a link down in the description so you can check it out for yourself. And you know what? You can start taking your videos to the next level. So there we go, Motion Array. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. All right, this next one is from Andre, walking from Coogee Beach to Bondi Beach. That's a long walk. So let's have a look at that.
That is a huge effort right there. Huge effort. This is great. This is fantastic. This one's from Adam Bolt. motion blur whoa it's almost hypnotic watching this so adam actually told me that he used the neutral density 1000 filter for the gopro that is a good use of it right there and he also put it on night lapse mode for the time warp which gives it a longer shutter speed so really creative way to do that that was really awesome this next one is from victor and it's a, on a hero 8 and this is in quebec and just this first image is making me very cold just looking at it Extra points too, because you're walking on snow, that's not easy to do. And it looks really stable. Just showing off that part of Quebec that I never thought I would ever see. All right, next one here is from Jeremy from uh, Grab Life by the Goulets. Uh, looks like you are in some kind of a wave river, river, uh, what do you call this, lazy river? Looks really cool though. Looks like fun. Just spinning around. I mean, that angle where I see your legs, I'm not, I don't know how I feel about that, but. <laughs> All right, this is another one from Quebec. This is the cousin to Victor. This is Elliot. So uh, have a look at this one here. And deep snow walking. Are you wearing snowshoes? Oh, that's, that's awesome. You're on a lake obviously now. The sideways shot looks great, man. Those are really hard to do. Great job, Elliot. Thank you so much for sending that in. All right, the next one is from Brad in Darwin. Just straight through that little tunnel, uh, walking around the War Memorial. That was very cool. Very cool, Brad. I know you do some cooler stuff with your drone because your drone kings in Darwin. All right, so this next one is from Tom up in the Catskills, New York. Now this one isn't technically a hyperlapse because he's not moving, but because this is really cool just to see the ice floating by and there's a lot of movement in there, I'm gonna accept it. And it's always good that he's got a seagull in there as well. Now did that seagull fall asleep? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Very cool. And here we go, last submission from Corbin. Corbin is also doing amazing stuff with his GoPro. Check out his channel. Uh, let's see what you got, Corbin. You. Classic time warp ski lift. Too bad there was no clouds to kind of really showcase the movement of it, but uh, it does look, that looks, first of all, that looks like a really fun tubing hill to go on. And I think I saw, yeah, you made a video about it on your channel. All right, that's it for the challenge. Get your votes in. Just write down in the comments which one you like the best. And in a few weeks from today, I will be calculating up those and I will make a video announcement on the winners. So stay tuned for that and stay tuned for the next challenge announcement because it's going to be a really good one. But thank you so much for watching and being a part of this channel and helping it grow. I really do appreciate it. A lot more really fun videos coming out all the time. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Oh, yeah.